Oh my proportions of the solution. I take one bucket of cement, two buckets of sand, six buckets of sawdust, add lime all thoroughly mixed. After a bucket and a half of water. In the preparation of the final solution to look at the consistency that was not too much water. Mortar put in the form. There I tamp carefully along the edges. Then punch to achieve distance in height. All dot remove the form for three days drying. After three days, the block is gaining the necessary strength. I have tested the block and I will tell you honestly I am pleased with this result. Sawdust concrete is a material that can be classified as lightweight. For its creation are used directly sawdust, cement and sand. Thanks to its high hygienic properties, it can be used for the construction of absolutely any buildings and institutions, including those intended for children. Blocks can be subjected to absolutely any mechanical treatment, as they practically do not give cracks and chips. Very often they are confused with arbol light blocks. These two building materials differ in their use of different aggregates. As for arbolite, for its manufacture, crushed wood chips are used, which are obtained by grinding wood waste, as well as crushing cane and cotton stalks, and for the manufacture of sawdust concrete only sawdust is used. Technical Characteristics The density of sawdust concrete blocks can be adjusted independently by increasing the proportion of sawdust and sand in its composition. Characteristics of the material in the field of heat and sound insulation will be higher the greater will be its density. 
in this case also increases its strength. It is possible to distinguish several groups of sawdust concrete blocks, which are subdivided from high technical characteristics to lower. 5. The best option for the construction of foundations and walls of buildings, as it has a higher density. 1. Zero. Blocks with similar strength are good for the reconstruction of walls and basements. M15 and M20 are equally suitable for the construction of interior walls and partitions, as well as for facing. Production of these blocks is not very complicated process, which is why it is possible to do it with their own hands. The main thing is to strictly follow the technological process and do not violate it. Preparation of the mixture. The creation of sawdust concrete blocks is justified if there is a sawmill nearby. In this case, their production with their own hands will be the most profitable, since a lot of costs for this will not be required. To prepare the material, which is needed for different purposes, you need to take the components in the following proportions. To obtain high density, 200 kg of cement and sawdust each, 50 kg of lime, 500 kg of sand. For medium density for 200 kg of sawdust need 150 kg of cement, 100 kg of lime and 350 kg of sand. Low density involves reducing the amount of additional materials for 200 kg of sawdust by several times. So, you need only 50 kg of sand and cement, and 200 kg of lime. By the way, lime can be replaced by clay. In this case, the quality of sawdust concrete it is not able to strongly affect. If the exploitation of blocks is supposed to be in an area with high humidity, or sawdust lying, the filler will require additional treatment of mineralizers. This will help to increase fire resistance and reduce the possibility of water absorption. A great way to treat them is to soak them in liquid glass. You have to soak them in lime milk beforehand. The mixture should be dry when the sawdust, sand and concrete will be mixed. Water is added afterwards, with the help of a sprayer. Since it is very difficult to mix the components manually, especially in large quantities, it is recommended to borrow a mortar mixer or a concrete mixer. You can check the readiness of the mortar by squeezing it in your fist. If the lump is plastic and you can clearly see imprints on it, then the material is ready. of forms and equipment. Initially, it is necessary to make shields specifically for the form work. They must be clearly measured in order to obtain equal sized blocks. The boards for the panel should be 38 mm thick. After that, you should start sifting the sawdust. Once the chips and bark have been separated, it will be necessary to add wood shavings to them. This will increase the strength of the material several times. Laying can be done in two groups of forms. Dimensional blocks. These will require usually in the form of crates of boards. They are usually collapsible, as this allows for quick disassembly and reassembly. Small blocks. Are small in size forms, thanks to which usually can be made up to 9 blocks at a time. It should be laid immediately because after 2 hours it will begin to harden quickly. The boards of the form work should be moistened with water before laying. Laying should be made in 150 mm layers of mortar with each part of it well tamped to avoid the formation of voids. Drying of blocks is better to conduct in a draft, because then it will be produced evenly. It is important to leave gaps between them. In the case of rain better cover them with plastic wrap to prevent soaking blocks. Final drying is carried out with the help of poles. Blocks should be placed on top of bricks, erecting low pillars of sawdust concrete blocks and be sure to leave gaps between them. Thus 90% strength can be achieved after a month of drying. The use of sawdust concrete blocks. In the construction of a variety of structures finds its application sawdust concrete. 
Cottages, houses, outbuildings, cottages, all of them are durable and have excellent qualities. From this material can be built in temporary housing, because the blocks are cheap enough. Applicable sawdust concrete and for the construction of a solid foundation. In this case, the restoration it will not need a long time. Pros and cons. Blocks have the following advantageous characteristics. High thermal insulation. Eco-friendliness. Affordability. Vapor permeability. Fire resistance. Durability. Resistance to cold and frost. A special advantage will be its weight, as it is only 50 tons for an area of 250 square meters. Thanks to this quality of the material can significantly reduce the cost of building a foundation. In addition, the low cost of the sawdust concrete blocks themselves will also save money. To the main disadvantage that has sawdust concrete block, you can attribute its ability to absorb moisture. This is very bad for the material, but it is possible to prevent the absorption of liquid, if you externally paint them with some compositions and paints, and inside to carry out quality waterproofing. Making sawdust concrete with their own hands. How to avoid mistakes. Basic proportions, manufacturing technology, and peculiarities of building a house from sawdust creep. Sawdust concrete collapsed. Can you build a house from sawdust concrete with your own hands and what is its difference from arbol light? Reviews of builders and owners hardly cover the hidden problems of sawdust concrete, negative reviews are infrequent, and useful information in them is minimal. The editorial staff of Kbloke magazine has studied this building material in detail and shares with readers the instructions on how to make sawdust concrete with your own hands, what you need to do and how not to sit in a puddle at the stage of preparation of the composition. Sawdust concrete, what is it? Sawdust concrete, a type of lightweight concrete used for the production of wall blocks. In everyday life, you can also meet its other names, shavings concrete and wood concrete. In fact it is a composition, which is based on wood shavings, cement, sand, water and a little lime. It is used to build walls and is a cheap analog of arbol light. Sawdust concrete also produced both on an industrial scale, and artisanal. An important argument in favor of the material, the ability to independently set its technological characteristics, strength, weight, and thermal conductivity. For example, the more sand, the denser the blocks. Sawdust, on the other hand, reduces the density and contribute to heat retention. Therefore, producing sawdust concrete with their own hands, you can choose the optimal consistency for specific purposes. But you should not forget about the load on the material, it is necessary to take into account the number of floors, the thickness of the wall, its area of responsibility and much more. Concrete is popular because of its environmental friendliness, cheapness, and ease of production. There is a misconception that arbolite and sawdust concrete is one and the same. In fact, they are quite significant differences. There is no sand in the structure of arbolite, and it uses calibrated crushed chips of certain sizes. It performs a reinforcing role in the blocks. It turns out a strong, but plastic material. Sawdust concrete does not have such advantages, since sawdust does not have similar properties. Bending strength in arbolite is achieved due to the needle shape of wood chips. Sawdust concrete has no such properties. Pros and cons of the material. Sawdust concrete blocks have both advantages and disadvantages. This is inherent in any material. When choosing, the main thing is that the advantages of sawdust concrete coincide with the needs of the buyer. Easy production and minimum equipment for the production of blocks. The low quality of manufactured blocks and poor geometry. Low thermal conductivity. It is higher than that of arbolite, but better than cinder blocks. High water absorption. Blocks fall apart from the constant moisture. High impact strength. The unit will dent on impact, but will not burst. Low strength. Can withstand up to 20 kg per square cm. Easy masonry and installation of self-tapping, as with wood concrete. The block is crumbling. Sawdust concrete mixture does not self-reinforcing. Does not burn and does not support combustion. Afraid of the appearance of fungus and mold. Must be insulated from moisture. Sawdust concrete reduces the cost of construction, it itself is inexpensive and it is suitable for a simple and light foundation. The main disadvantage, this material absorbs moisture, as do all wood concrete blocks. The degree of water absorption depends on its density and the degree of tamping. Mitigate the disadvantages of sawdust concrete and arbol light can and should be done with the use of finishing materials, such as plaster.
Pressed concrete is used mainly in construction. It is usually used to build exterior and interior walls, which are then covered with facing material. Small architectural forms and fences made of this material is practically not made, because the weather impact destructive to it because of the high water absorption and low frost. In the photo above, a modification of sawdust concrete blocks, produced in Yoshkarola immediately with a facing layer of cement sand mixture. Further, the surface of the wall from them will be painted. In addition, blocks are insulated basements, the walls of garages and outbuildings, workshops, barns, housing for livestock. For construction, you can use house designs made for other materials, the size of 20 times 20 times 40 cm, which is an additional point of saving money and time. Technical Characteristics and Properties The composition of sawdust concrete can vary, one has more sand, the other, sawdust. Comparison of sawdust concrete with arbolite. Arbolite, a building material, a type of lightweight concrete. It is made from a mixture of organic aggregates, crushed wood waste, reeds, hemp bark, etc., binder, usually Portland cement, and water. For mineralization of the aggregate and to accelerate hardening of cement, calcium chloride, sulfuric acid alumina together with fluffy lime or other additives can be introduced into the mixture. The bulk weight of A is from 400 to 700 kilograms per cubic meter. A is used to make wall blocks, panels, slabs, etc. for the construction of low-rise residential, public, industrial, and agricultural buildings. Arbolite, lightweight concrete on the basis of cement binder, organic aggregates, up to 80 to 90 percent of the volume, and chemical additives. Also known as drevobidin. As an organic aggregate is used shredded wood, wood concrete, bark flax or hemp, costrobidin, crushed rice straw or crushed stalks of cotton. For mineralization of the filler calcium chloride, food additive E509, calcium nitrate, liquid glass or other substances that block the negative effect of organic matter on cement hardening are used. A distinction is made between thermal insulation, density from 400 to 500 kg per cubic meter, and structural, density from 500 to 850 kg per cubic meter, varieties. Typically used as prefabricated building blocks or slabs for the construction of self-supporting walls or interior partitions of buildings, as well as a heat insulating and soundproofing material. Characteristics Thermal conductivity of arbolite is 0.07 to 0.17 W slash MK. The most important characteristic of arbolite, like of any other building material, is the compressive strength. The ultimate compressive strength of arbolite ranges from M5 M10 for thermal insulation to M25 M50 and even to M100 for structural. Arbolite has a high bending strength, very well absorbs sound waves. Arbolite does not support combustion, it is convenient for processing. Structural types have a high index of bending strength, can restore its shape after a temporary excess of the limit load. The disadvantages of arbolite include low moisture resistance. The outer surface of structures made of arbolite in contact with atmospheric moisture should have a protective finishing layer. It is desirable to keep air humidity in the rooms with walls made of arbolite no higher than 75%. Arbolite is used for monolithic construction of low-rise residential, commercial, and industrial buildings, as well as in the form of blocks. History of Appearance and Development of Arbolite in the mid-50s of last century in the U.S. began active development of a new building material due to a sharp decrease in the incomes of citizens and the reduction of demand for expensive real estate. The main requirements were a low price, durability, and good insulating properties. For the basis of American developers have taken foreign samples created by Duracell technology, introduced in Holland in the 30s. As a result of the painstaking work of engineers, builders, and architects, Arbolite appeared. This building material was produced from a cement wood composition and at the time was called woodstone in the United States. It quickly proved itself in a positive way, and therefore the government began its production on an industrial scale. A few years later, experts made available to the public wood chip concrete, the name was called Arbolite in the Soviet years. It was produced in the form of load-bearing and enclosing structures, one and three layer wall panels, blocks, floor slabs, structures combined with reinforced concrete. A few years later, special equipment appeared on the market, which allowed to increase the quantity of produced arbolite, as well as to improve its quality. With its introduction began the active construction of country houses of similar material, 
which is used for masonry load-bearing walls and partitions. Gradually, arbolite is replacing traditional construction materials due to the fact that it has high thermal insulation qualities, low weight, resistance to fire and good adhesion to plaster mortars. In low-rise individual housing construction, it is becoming more popular and justified. Nevertheless, there are still factors that prevent the wide distribution of the material. These include the lack of an appropriate regulatory framework, large enterprises for its production and a large-scale advertising campaign to promote it. But there are and will be prospects for development, because builders simply cannot leave aside the material, which has a lot of advantages over others.